に伝えられるかな。この想いを、この距離を。Okay, all right. Welcome to the third episode of Doshio Cast. I'm Calvin, and we've got a lot of anime to talk about this week because the season just started. So we got a lot of fun things to talk about. We're each going to be saying basically what we think our favorite of the season is so far. Not everything's out, but we're going to say what so far our favorite is and what we think you guys can pass on because honestly, not all of it's good. But we got a few <laughs> things to talk about first.、Uh, David, you had some things about Crunchyroll. Um. Yeah.、Um, <laughs> so they got they have the episodes of Tenari that were only supposed to be on the Blu-rays. So, how many episodes thought, is it going to be in total? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That makes that makes me happy.、That、yeah, happy. it's it's pretty cool.、Um, and because they are the Blu-ray episodes, they didn't air on TV. They have native 1080p streams of them instead of like the upscaled 1080. So. Well, they never upscaled it before. It was only 480 available as the yeah. best. Yeah, yeah, because they don't normally they don't upscale 480, which is how it aired on TV. But since these、so、are the Blu-ray episodes, they have it all. They have it all. It's pretty great.、Mm-hmm. Do you think it'll actually have an actual ending this time? Because episode、no. 13 was like Kill Me Baby level, where it no, just ended. No, I, I mean maybe, but I really doubt it. Because there's no chapter in the manga they could adapt that would make it feel like an ending. So. I I guess yeah okay. Um. Also, like Crunchyroll, besides Tonari, is just getting a lot of other shows. Like, how many shows is it? Like, does it have this season? A stupid number. Still not as many as they had last season, which、yeah. was their biggest season ever. But、mm-hmm. um. But they're getting a they lot have, of crazy stuff. Don't they, they have, have JoJo? Yeah, they do have JoJo yeah, and Mushishi, which is the most honestly Mushishi is more surprising to me than JoJo, considering Funimation has the rights to that, and Netflix has the right to its streaming. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So they got the second season. You've at basically, despite all have, odds, they must have outbid by a lot. Yeah.、Mm. And non-anime wise, but they've announced a shit ton of live action stuff. Like it's like absolutely ridiculous how much Korean, how many Korean dramas they're getting on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I kind of forget that that's a part of Crunchyroll. I think a lot of people do. I have a lot of friends that actually specifically just watch K dramas on Crunchyroll, so it's really weird to hear about. But I, I don't know. That seems very odd. I keep, I, yeah, it keeps coming up. So I mean, you got to watch it somewhere.、Yeah. And I think last, like the last thing that was kind of newsworthy this week was like the fact that we're getting a Princess Jellyfish movie. I know a lot of people are watching it on Netflix now, and it's been out for quite a while. It was in like a Noi Mane show, so we only got eleven episodes. So I'm kind of hoping that the movie is gonna be. I'm hoping that it's animated. I'm hoping that we get like, kind of a side story in OVA or at least like a little continuation because it ended really, really, really abruptly. Yeah. The anime kind of ended very suddenly and it only resolved one major like plot point and the rest was still way up in the air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just like, wait, does this you know slutty lady like him? Are they gonna、Find、get together? And then it's like, <laughs> same jellyfish you know, right channel.、Now. I'm just tequila. I'm just saying, don't get your hopes up because the trend with shoujo and jose stuff <laughs> is to adapt it to the TV anime first and then do a live action anime.、Uh, live action anime. That, that's been、live、like ridiculous.、Movie. Like, like say I love you just got a live. Yeah, say action, I love、uh, you.、Um, there's, I had a list. I got rid of it, but it's a huge list. Like every popular shoujo or jose. What about anime、um, recently is getting live action stuff? Chihaya Furu also. Why has Chihaya Furu not gotten a live action movie? Is the real question. That was one of my favorites, <laughs> and I really can't wait for a third season. That'd be amazing, like <laughs> real sweat, real fake sweat. <laughs> needs, needs to happen. Real fake sweat. I think what I'd want, and it's it,、yeah. it's not even shoujo or Get jose that spray or anything. I just want Silver Spoon. Oh, Silver Spoon、action. does have a live action movie. It did really well. Wait, what? It's already out. It's not out on Blu-ray yet, but it's in theaters in Japan, or、What? was. Oh man! Well, I am、really? now. I'm even more、yeah. excited. I'm just、so. waiting. Can't wait. Holy cow!、But、I have to wait. All right. Well, I think I think we'll we'll stop it there, and we'll get on to all the shows because we got a lot of stuff to talk about this week. Um, I guess Ben, we'll start with you. So much new. Yeah,、anime. exactly. <laughs> so much new. Basically,、anime. everything starting. But um. Yeah, so we're all going to talk a bit about what our favorite and least favorite animes were so far. There's a lot still coming out this next week or two, but so far this past weekend, I really loved Haikyuu. It was more than I expected. 
Mm-hmm. I expected like um, Yawa Petal Mushi or something like that, but the action and the lines were incredible and a lot more powerful than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, those expressions were ridiculous. And that, like, that side jump? Oh, if you like God. JoJo because of poses, then you should watch Haikyuu because there's more poses. If you wish <laughs> JoJo would... If you wish that like all the characters in JoJo would just play volleyball with each other and then have gay <laughs> tendencies, then you should watch this show. Whoa, there's no gay tendencies yet. <laughs> it's legitimate sports. Don't if you'd like push to write fan fans on, on, on gay tendencies, then <laughs> this is the show for you. And... If I had to pick one thing that you you should probably pass on, I would say it's Kinero no Korda, Blue Sky. It's like an uh, adaptation of a uh, uh, reverse harem uh, visual novel. And it's not that great. With the character design, if you want to watch a good reverse harem, or a, a reverse harem occurring this season, you should watch Kamigami. Yeah, definitely, those Much transformation better. sequences are oh, so pretty. They were ridiculous. They were ridiculous. <laughs> I want. Yeah. Oh, Kamigami! Just <laughs> I want more the magical first scene. boy animes. Wow, <laughs> like that just I don't know. They're, they're, it's like teaser. It was like kill a kill levels of male transformation. <laughs> yeah, it was like I thought it would just be a one stage transformation, mm-hmm. but it was like five. I thought it. On the topic of Blue Sky, yeah. though, it, it was really bad. Yeah. I'm not going to deny that. But I, I don't think I've mm-hmm. had as much fun hating something like that in a long time, you know? <laughs> that show was so much fun to dislike. Like, every single frame almost. I, I agree. You could point out something that was horribly wrong. David and I watched it together. David and I watched it together, and we couldn't stop talking. We couldn't stop ridiculing it. it was that background so character with the crossed eyes, man. She just kept showing up. <laughs> it's kind of like watching really cringy videos that people made to be serious. Uh, exactly. You know, it's just like, wow, this is really terrible, but I want to keep watching this because I want to watch how bad this person feels. I just want right the show now. to get worse, honestly. <laughs> so this show you should pass if you don't have the time, but if you do have the time and want to watch something bad, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, Calvin, what did you think? What was your favorite thing that you watched this weekend? Oh boy. So, it seems like no one agrees with me, but this was basic, This was my favorite show of the weekend, and of the week, just of this, like, first week. Ishukon Friends. It's called One Week Friends, and it's about this dude that likes a, his classmate, but she has a weird debilitating disease where she forgets all of her memories and like times that she spent with her friends over the course of that week. So by Monday, she's forgotten everything and he wants to still just be friends with her. And I don't know the show. I just find it really, really adorable. It's, it's quaint. There like not a lot happens. So if you're in, if you're going to be watching something that's like intense and crazy, watch Haikyuu or something. But Ishukon is just, I found it relaxing. It's, I got to sit there and just watch this kid kind of interact with her and these people that aren't that like don't know each other just kind of interact and do little slice of life things. I like slice of life. I like the art style. I like the kind of the pastel colors. And I mean, it's just a lot of fun listening to this voice actress build up a friendship over the course of the week, and then kind of go back to just sounding like a very bland voice. Like she has a very <laughs> normal voice and doesn't really have a lot of things, and sounds like that at the beginning of the episode. But by the by the end of the episode, when she's like. I've kind of found a friend in this character that's hanging out with me now. She has a bit more emotion, and it's really fun. Lis- just listening to the show is also fun as well. So there's a lot that I liked about One Week Friends. I highly recommend it if you want something that's slice of life, very relaxing, and just, I don't know, it was, it was fun, and don't expect too much, but I expect to watch them have little friendly outings every single week, and that's all I kind of want out of it. Um, my least favorite, however is Rowdy Sumo Wrestler Matsu Taro. I don't think I'd been more upset with how annoying a main character of a show can be. <laughs> and I've, I, I mean, I've seen some really ridiculous shows with pe- with characters that I could not stand, but he's at the, he's at the top of the list. And I understand that the show kind of sets, sets him out. They make him this character that's not supposed to be likable. He's supposed to be the slacker. He's supposed to be every. He's supposed to stand against everything. The basically the shonen MC, 
always stands for, and you're supposed to say, oh, that's quirky that he's completely different, but it's just almost offensive. He's driving a... Like, in the first episode, he causes so much property damage, he drives a truck right over the head of, like, some one- or two-year-old kid. It was, like, such highly irresponsibly offensive things happening throughout the episode that I I found nothing that would connect me to this character or want to watch this character have anything go his way. And he's going to be doing sumo wrestling stuff, and kind of things seem to always go his way throughout of it, throughout the show. He's kidnapping, he's doing all sorts of things, and he's not played off as, like, some cool anti-hero. He's played off just as kind of this, like, douchebag. <laughs> and it's just not a fun show. It doesn't look good. The I, the voice acting was really subpar. I don't I don't like his voice. But, I mean, that's he's supposed to sound gruff and annoying. But, I don't know, there's nothing that held my interest for longer than a minute, and it's going to be pain to sit through every single week. That was kind of my shows that caused me a lot of pain and torment. Do you guys have anything to say about either of my shows? Yes. Um. Okay, so for your, your favorite show, One Week Friends? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I watched it, and, I mean, it's kind of like, I agree that if, if that's what you want, you know, then you should definitely watch it. If you were ever watching Fifty First Dates and was like, wow, I wish that this would be an anime. And I wish Adam Sandler with less comedy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wish that fucking, was it Nicol- uh, like uh, Nicholas Sparks or whatever? Is that the person who wrote, like... Yeah, romance guy. Yeah, if I wish Nicholas Sparks wrote Fifty First Dates and then you can get this show. So... I just felt like it didn't really stand out at all. It was a okay anime, but I would never have picked it. And as it's my done. Favorite. It's been done before. Like I know of at least one other. David, I don't remember the name of it, but the like the other anime where her her like memory goes away. Half a tale. Yeah, exactly. So there's. It's already been done. It's it's a completely different show. Yeah. A higher other set of characters with their own weird problems, you mm-hmm. know, and had the aesthetics this... going for it. I don't know. This show looks yeah. like. Usagi Drop or Horomusuko, mm-hmm. and that's about as much as I got. I from agree it. with that kind of stylization. Yeah, no. like Usagi Drop. It definitely looks like those shows, but mm-hmm. it's it's once again it's nothing like F. It's a much smaller story. It's much more. It's not as broad as that show, and doesn't have a lot of the same storylines that'll be coming yeah. up. I mean, it might it might broaden out. Like you don't know. I mean, it's only the first episode. I I do like. Some- like I like some of the other characters. Like his blonde friend is really bro. He's like, he he actually will listen to the main character's problems and kind of talk to him and like coach him through things. So it's fun to just kind of see interactions that even aren't just with that one guy trying to like make friends with the girl. But I mean, all small things, and I like to see where the show goes. Um, David, what were your like favorites and least favorites of the season? The weekend. Um, I actually have one more thing to say about your shows. Okay. Yeah. Which is that on the topic of the sumo show? Yes, I didn't like I it either. Barely touched on that. But the main character, the like all the things you described about him are basically he's like the a very generic MC for the seventies. Like this is a it's an adaptation of a manga from the seventies, and like nowadays it'd be it's the equivalent of a character having short brown hair and no personality, <laughs> you know. So that's just what things were like back then. I'm not saying it makes it better or worse, but. Right, I mean, I don't it's a product really like of its the, time for sure. I don't, I don't like the normal generic brown-haired MC of most mm-hmm. shows nowadays. So. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make it good or worse for that matter. It just, it just. Repeats. But it's definitely a product of its time. That's coming out of weird, really strange. I don't know why they're adapting it now, but yeah, yeah I guess they want to stand <laughs> out. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, and also, it's animated by Toei. Which I find the strange. Like, why is Toei doing? Toei's that? animating so many shows this, or at least just it's animating a couple shows this season. Oh, like, they don't have to do Toriko anymore. Yeah, so they, they've got time. Yeah. Is Toriko officially ended now? Yeah, Toriko, the anime's over. Oh, at the, at the end it said, end of part one, so I guess that means they plan on starting again. Well, with such a popular manga, they'd it's, be absurd to not re- try to restart it. Yeah, it's the manga that's challenging Bleach and Naruto for, like, domination, you know? Mm-hmm. Nothing's ever but done not that before. One piece. Except maybe Fairy Tail, but it's not a jump piece. manga, so it's hard to say. I'm looking at other stuff that Toei is animating, and they're all over the place. Like yeah, they're a big studio, yeah. old studio. It's crazy, but um, all right. So David. Yeah, um, my favorite show is definitely Captain Earth. 
And it's hard to even say why, because I don't even understand really what happened in the first episode. <laughs> but that's exactly why I like it. Like, once the eye catch came up and all it said was, everything will be obvious soon, I was like, yeah, I hope so. Like, this is, <laughs> it's, and it's made by the same team of people that made Star Driver, which means which that amazing. I have high hopes that everything will make sense, just not to people who are only watching it and not thinking about it. Like, like got yeah. the, all those sexy mechas. <laughs> in the, the, like, transformation scene for the mech at the end of the episode was awesome. <laughs> went through all it's, the it steps. It went to final form immediately. It was great. It was great. Um... My least favorite was Sori Demo Sekai wa Utsukushi, mostly because it was incredibly boring. What was the American name? Uh, like, the world is still the world beautiful. Is still beautiful. Um, yeah, like it's even hard to say if anything did happen. Like I don't know. We we got introduced to this princess. She's traveling. She needs to go to the place, meet the Shota King, I guess. <laughs> she. She's like, like no bodyguard. No bodyguard, which is obviously the smartest thing. And I was really off put by how modern her character design was compared to everything around her. And I understand that there's Oh yeah, no. She's got like bright yeah, colors. Bright mm-hmm. colors and just her clothes in general. Are Shorty shorts. Modern. Exactly. She's Short wearing. shorts, yeah. And I under- I think what they were trying to do there is make her look rich or be- more well off than the rest of the world around her cuz she is. She's a princess. What was the setting? Was it like medieval? It looks or... medieval. And they like have medieval technology. And she's wearing these short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I, I saw that more of just saying that she's comes from a very different like right, that's, country. That's... Like she goes into this country and she has no idea because she doesn't know what anybody's like. So having this this really contrastingly dressed character, not saying it's good or anything. I'm just saying I think that's right, also that, kind of what that's they're what going I was saying. for. Her yeah. country is they're trying to yeah. contrast her to the world around her, but by doing that, they just made it confusing. Like that would be like having her drive a car when no one else can, just to point <laughs> out that else she's is rich, riding horses. You know. Yeah. I kind of agree, also, David, because at the end when we met her um, future husband, the, the king guy, is the Shoda. Yes, exactly. I was expecting something much more subdued, <laughs> but he was like really um, yeah. charismatic. Yeah, no, I, I don't know, kind I kind of like that. I want to I see that, that, as a, that part at the end, I'm, and the obvious knowledge that he's the other main character, is why I can't tell you to, to definitely not watch the show, because I feel like there's like another half to the show that will probably be revealed next episode, you know? Like the other mood that the show will have. <laughs> but for now, it's literally nothing special. Like, I can't even tell you to watch it because it's bad, because it was so boring. Hey kid, wanna SS? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And Dom, what about you? It's right here. Well, he's looking at that. <laughs> Captain Earth, I gotta say, David, I'm really mm-hmm. hype about the, what's it called? Uh, the, the rainbows. I like the introduction of rainbows. The rainbows. It's, it's a, that's <laughs> the a, rainbow circles of power. Yes, that's, I mean, it, it was kind of hitting me in the Eureka Seven, like yeah. right in right in the feelings. Oh, the the rainbows is like that. May it reminds me the worst part about Captain Earth was that giant crystal stalactite <laughs> in the yes. back of the moon. That, that Let's is, just not talk about it. Another than to the dark side of the moon. <laughs> yeah, they they don't even handle it. It's just there. <laughs> it's like an alternate you universe or reality where we never have gone to the moon. Or <laughs> we never the thought to check back there. If we have space mix but don't it's know what's like, hey, the let's back walk over there. Like. No, that'll I'll be all right. What's truly we'll amazing is that about there. that is that they've developed these mechs and have never gotten farther than it's the all back on the, of the whole moon. other side of the moon. I'm sure that it's going to be uh, resolved like they'll show their aliens or something that's recently come to our yeah. um, sector. Like, it, like infected the moon. Maybe maybe they'll have it. Maybe they'll give it like an Eureka Seven AO kind of effect where people can go in, they do see it, but they're like sworn to secrecy. And they're like, "Oh, we can't talk about that if the Earthlings find so out that the moon's got a weird fucking rock on the back of it." <laughs> D-Dodoshio, Earth song. So dumb. What did you feel about the shows you watched this weekend? Uh, terrible. Baby steps. That oh my show. god. <laughs> Can you just like sound less 
enthusiastic. I mean, I think uh, that you're like... He's so excited for tennis. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me get some crack. Hang on. We're doing live crack right, on so... the podcast. Oh, God. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Like, what did you like about it, Don? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like just high a crack. right now or something? What did no, you do? I'm just like he just did crack. That's <laughs> just be like the first. opposite. Oh my god. Oh man. It, well, that okay, is a, that is immediate title. euphoria. Uh, we're on crack. <laughs> really, I'm sorry. I'm just like really tired for some reason. Oh my I'm god. I really tired for some reason. I'm Calvin. <laughs> Calvin, we will kill no, you. I'm gonna fucking stab you, Calvin. <laughs> No dad jokes. Dumb. Uh, if you don't tell okay. us what your favorite anime is and why, I'm going to shoot you in the face. Whoa, now we have live crack and live murderous threats. <laughs> this is a very special third episode podcast for all of you out there. Thank you. Thank you all. I don't know. I just feel like... Uh, did we talk about that other one? I, I, uh, uh, Haikyuu. Yeah, Haikyuu. It's okay, unfortunate what about, that IQ is so can good. You, can you, you want to compare them? How? No, no, no. I just feel like sport. Like I, I can't pick one. To, like I can't nail one down. But I just feel like sports anime this season is really well. So the other one I would recommend is definitely Baby Steps because I think it's awesome. I like how there's a character that like never played whatever sport or something, but then they adapt some other skill they have to the sport. So basically, he's super smart at school and everything, so he just writes down amazing notes. And he wants to, like, do something for physical activity, so he's like, why not tennis? Mm. So, I mean, they at the very beginning of the episode, they kind of just, like, say that he's going to apply his smarts to the sport. And I, Yeah, they showed that flash for And I kind of want to see how that's going to, like play out like they just showed him jotting down notes but i just want to like actually see them explain i don't know i just like anime where they explain every little tiny detail down to yeah the in the preview thing. at the end of the episode yeah, they were talking numbers. about like specifics on how yeah. to rotate and swing your arm around to hit the ball with more yeah power no stuff. i'm not joking be very specific. I, I like specific that's what makes sports, sports anime great i like that <laughs> yeah mm. stats numbers, yeah percentages places, graphs Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's fun no, I, when they apply actual like logic man, to things. I don't know. I mean, you say that like you liked it because it was a character who hadn't played that before, but I thought it was really forced and it like moved really fast. Like it went from him just being like, "Oh, I just want something for like physical activity." And then all of these people who were like really, really serious about tennis being like, "You just want a small physical activity? You should totally join tennis with all these people that are way serious about tennis like i don't know i think it was kind of it was kind of weird because i don't think that that would like actually happen i think that they'd be like okay if you if you want just something for like a little bit of physical activity you should probably just try like jogging or something the way you get involved in sports in real life though is one of two ways one is through school club Mm -hmm. sports which this is not and the other way is through ending up like going to do a sport and you end up liking the people there so you go back to hang out with them and play the sport with them. No, yeah. but like he just So I think he's getting involved cuz And it's the second one. Yeah. He yeah. likes the yeah. girl. Yeah. That's the whole reason he joined them for mm-hmm. their like warm up. I don't know. And the uh, the second part about it, about it mm-hmm. going fast, that's a good thing. The show is only going to be 26 yeah. episodes long. And he's It doesn't the have the running. like it's not like Ace of the Diamond or like Yoapeta where <laughs> yeah. they have like this great amount of time so the beginning can like build up to them like playing. He needs to start yeah. playing now or the build show's gonna to get the main old. Character not being it's the a main sports character. show because they play sports. If he didn't play tennis in the first episode, <laughs> oh, yeah. I probably would have dropped it. Yeah. It wouldn't have no, made sense. I understand like, okay, yeah, you know, you want that and stuff, but I just I have like I don't know, it's weird visualizing where this is gonna go because he starts out like not knowing how to play, not being physical, like whatsoever. And I know by the end of the, se- the series, he's gonna be like, you know, it, you if not know if that, not though. good, the freshman but prodigy. if not good, he, I mean, I I can understand like if they don't make him good at tennis, but he's going to like actually care about the game and like all this kind of stuff. I don't that's know. What, 
Of course, but yeah. like, why wouldn't I guess. you want that to happen? I mean, you know, like, but to to the extent of like crazy people. That's actually what I care. really like <laughs> about oh, my character. Just sucks. That's what I really like about Yoa Peta, actually, is that they start him off and they give you a good reason as to why he would already be good at it. And then when he joins, mm-hmm. he's still not the best. But like, he's really he's really good at it. Like he goes in and he's immediately yes. good at it, but he's he's nowhere mm-hmm. near the best. Like all the people that he's racing with and going against, they're all much they're crazy. Yeah, they're all much better than him, and they'll like they lap him a whole bunch of times in that. And it's like one of the like the third arc or something, like the second or third arc when they're training. Like he gets lapped by everybody yeah. a yeah. whole bunch of times, but it doesn't stop it from being intense when he's racing alongside them, and trying mm-hmm. to like finish up by like was it like sundown or something. Like, yeah, he needed to finish by the end of the fourth day. Yeah, so like it, it was really fun to like watch. The, it's really fun to watch him still be giving it his all and being good at it, but still making sure that they have a level of distance that's like he's good, but these people have actually been training. And, and that's yeah. exactly my hope for baby steps. <laughs> and he can't like surpass. Yeah, yeah, I don't want him to surpass them. Right. Obviously, I, mean, I don't want that. And to happen. I think that with baby steps, they're gonna come through because his whole like talent is the ability to learn. So he needs mm-hmm. to like be in a in a position of like lesserness constantly, lesserness. so that he can constantly yeah. be adding things to like his tennis notebook or whatever's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, because if he just plays it and then he's automatically good, then that it's just, just destroys like... the whole point of him being like this note guy. Yeah, yeah he this like really hard character that you can relate to. He, he even says he's not particularly smart. He's just really good at note taking. You know, so yeah. it's not like he's a genius naturally either. Mm-hmm. So Don, what was the one you didn't like? This weekend, uh, Brian Holder. I mean, Bryn Holder. Brian Holder. Brian Holder. <laughs> what? I love that. Darkness actor. of the Brian Holder. <laughs> Brian Holder in the darkness. <laughs> uh, Stop holding your Brian's. I don't know. It was boring. Could you be more apathetic? I can. I can. You must really love anime, don't you? Anime, anime, so anime is so much, much fun. Oh my god, I love anime so much. Well, I guess he is talking about his least yeah. favorite show. So. The anime is called yeah. Brian Holder in the Darkness uh, on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. You guys picked all, like, the shitty shows I really wanted to hate. Like, that gay <laughs> show or whatever. Whoa! I mean, damn it. <laughs> Throwing around labels. God damn it, I gotta edit that out. No, you don't. You don't have to edit that out. Uh, Anyways, um, I mean, Brian Holder's got its own bad qualities. I thought you were talking about calling Yami. Oh, Kamigami? No, that's not on anyone's not watch list. No, it's I was on talking it. about violins. Violins. Oh, yeah, he did want to say the violin no, show. I hate that fucking show. Ew, so many violins. No vi- so talk more no about brown, brown, brown Holder or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's it was, it, it was just boring. It was silly. He just shows up. And I don't know. I'm just really mad that there was, like, zero common sense in that show, the way he died. Or, I mean, whatever. What? It's tra- written by the guy who wrote Elf and Lee, Ah! Uh, oh, oh, oh. And if that's... A- so, ah. does that mean that people are going to explode every episode? Oh my um, god, it- okay. Oh, if, yes. If that's also right. a thing, not only... Everyone should that. just not watch this because it's done by the guy that made Elf and Lee. But a lot of people no, what are you like talking Elf and Lee. No, we're talking about Elf and Lee. that show. Also, if you want an actual thing, say that ARMS did it. ARMS is making Brunhilder... And if we all remember Wizard Barristers from last season, it was Fuck. one of the worst shows. It <laughs> was terrible, and they ran out of their bu- they ran out of budget about. by like episode six. And if like, and Arms is really new, like this is one. This is still well, they're not new. They're just new to making TV anime. Well, okay, I I stand. I'm really surprised because Wizard Barristers episode one had the strongest animation I've seen in a long time. And it had a really good premise. There's also not any room. Like, I was pretty Brun excited for, in the dark for there to be like animation was not like that top tier that I saw in Wizard Barristers. Yeah. Well, what? The, uh, there was a mud sl- Yeah. It, it was. It was all about armpits. Yeah. There was no fight magic shit. There was that whole. There was no fight, fight magic, magic shit at, all. at the end. Right, but there wasn't fighting. No, the girl stopped the mudslide with her magic shit. There was a boulder, a literal boulder. Yes, it was a boulder. It, that she cut in I'm just saying that it wasn't like they were exploding trains. True, there weren't exploding trains. Poor trains. I miss those trains. trains. Poor trains. R.I.P. trains. So yeah, don't go watch that show. It sucks. I don't know. Whatever. Next. You gave kind of bad examples, but I do agree with you that it was not a strong episode. I 
will probably still watch it, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with not it. recommended. <laughs> I felt like the the introduction of the the death of the uh, childhood friend was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. They were on the side of a fucking dam, hundred feet up. Oh and they yeah, fell I remember off. that. Fuck. That was oh my god. So ridiculous. Yeah, like. No teach your kids not to go on dance. Yeah, it's just like wh- they didn't even explain and like the reason that why they were out there. Like they did. No, they did. They didn't no. show him an alien. She was. She wanted to show him. Oh, what? Yeah, she knew what about I mean? aliens and she wanted to show it to him. And so he. She said, "You can't tell anybody about how this. Did, it's our how did? How did? And he says, "I. Okay, I just kind of skipped through that. But how did she? She die and he didn't die. Because it, it was locked. Yeah, not locked. explained. I, I just want to point out that it's okay, hilarious well, that you skipped yeah. through the most important part of well, the episode. Well, basically, what, basically what happened is um, he slipped, and as he was falling, he grabbed on the her, or she reached out her hand, yeah. he grabbed on the her, and mm-hmm. they both fell. Um, how he di- how she died and he lived is just up to movie Wasn't magic, like, because yeah. they find him Especially later in the no hospital, major and injuries. he's like all bandaged up and everything, and they're like, don't worry, she's alright, she's just in another hospital, and he's like, that's good, and he gets out of the hospital, and they're like, lol, JK, kid. She died. She bit it. You killed yeah. her. So, they, yeah, they don't actually, like, give a Jeez. good reason, and they don't, they don't give it, like, a lot, which is why he's so paranoid in the show, when he's like, I don't know if she's dead, because they didn't show me a body. And you know, if in a movie, if you don't see a body, they're not dead. So I would just have a lifelong fear of dams after that. That's that's a bleach aliens. rule. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to use like euphemisms yeah. like "darn." Oh, cow. Yeah, uh, Jen, how did you feel about anime this um, weekend? Okay, so my favorite uh, would probably be the Kawaiso anime, um, Bukura Wamina Kawaiso, about the guy who moves into the old-fashioned house with a bunch of other people. And I thought that by just, like, looking at the preview and, like, reading it and stuff, that it was going to be really stupid and, like, generic. And then when I found out that it has a lot of, of people that are watching right now, like a crap ton, I was just like, that's weird, you know? And then so I watched it today, and it, I don't know, I, I think it has a lot of potential to be something more than just, like, a rom-com, a stupid rom-com. You know, I thought the comedy was really well done. You know, I think the characters are, like, unique enough so far. You know, they're not, they're not, like, they don't fit very, like, neatly in, like, overdone character designs and things like that, you know. So, I really like the, the old, um, like which we call it the lady that owns the house yeah the old oh, woman. woman she's great yeah <laughs> she's like i've always wanted to try out all these like tropes and things and he's just like i just want to be a side character <laughs> <laughs> i hope she is actually the main character but no then it would go against her wishes <laughs> but yeah so hmm? the what did the loser guy his um roommate the masochist loser guy kind of reminded me of calvin is like, calvin the... a, are you a masochist calvin <laughs> Yes, all I ever do is talk about porn and hurting myself. And, and constantly wear bondage, <laughs> just like around. Bro. Yep, like every day. He has like right shiny now hair. actually while we're doing I this. I don't cast. know why, but he just did. <laughs> is he even afro? No. Oh, then. he's white with like curly hair. Oh. No, he's no, he's he's got like shaggy, strong. He's got long. Pretty sure he's Japanese. Long blonde you know hair. He's he's white of color. <laughs> he is. He walks around in a he walks around in a robe peach. basically all the time. Which is very similar to oh, me. Yeah. You, if you, only you and pink. your robes, Calvin. I, I love my robe. None of you mentioned the mm-hmm. best character. The policeman. Yeah, no. Oh, no, the policeman's it's great. Like, I completely understand. It's like, whenever you see a swirly chair, and you just want to swirl on it, or like a shopping cart, and you just want to like ride it down the aisles, and he's just like, no. <laughs> You're like 40. Stop. <laughs> that was the greatest. Was a great was... police officer. <laughs> it turned everything I've ever scene in, in like, anime with police yeah, on his head. Cause the, it was like, I keep expecting him to be, like, immediately arrested, and the guy would just be, like, this stone-cold motherfucker who just locks him up and goes, come with me. But he's just like, no! This guy's not a pervert. But, or maybe 
maybe we're all perverts. But then he's like, he's like, well, you know, I can't just like let you wander around, or else I'll keep getting calls about you. So that'd just be annoying. Well, because no, he, he takes it to another level. Yeah. He keeps like going harder. Yeah. Like the policeman's at first like buddy buddy with him, and he just keeps talking about how his problem is that he doesn't know when the shut. He up. likes to pretend that he's looking up girls' skirts so that they'll look at him really evilly. I thought that yes. was hilarious. <laughs> like I'm not actually doing it, but <laughs> God. Um, and so my my least favorite was a show that was so bad that I couldn't even finish the episode, which is Blade and Soul. So <laughs> you should have finished it. It got so much better. No, but no it didn't. Mean, it only got it worse. Didn't. It was it didn't, terrible. But I laughed. Yeah, I think what Ben means by better is way more enjoyable. When he started no. punching their heads and they exploded, that was amazing. They didn't even explode. <laughs> you got my hopes up. They explode their no. heads. No. Their heads were basically, their heads went from being, like, solid to just being you puffs of like, blood. It was amazing. Play by play that again. No. The, the fucking character no. designs are terrible. What? That, the character designs are the it's one like, thing I was going to say was good about this. Really? I, no, I yeah. hated them. They're like, like Queen's Like, like they're too... They're way Queen's too Blade detailed. has great character designs. Yeah. What are you talking what about? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's, it's like... Because you don't, they're you're clearly not the target audience for that kind of show, no, then. They if they you don't like those characters. Yeah. Shit. yeah, it's like they're trying well, to thank goodness they're all dead. It's like they're trying to put in, like ridiculous like every single accessory and weapon onto like one person and then give them like anime hair and i don't know it's just it's too much it's visually too much and i feel like it's, it's based off of video games yeah. so everyone has accessories and stuff yeah. Makes so sense. of course it would look too detailed not... to some people yeah is that why is that why the mc girl never talks because that's what well, that's the conclusion i came like to never... <laughs> yeah i mean that makes sense but in an anime that no, it does was terrible. not work. That was the worst part of the episode. It was terrible. They'd be like, what are you doing here? Let me tell you about my dreams. Or she could have just been this <laughs> silent, strong character. No, because no she does nothing. She doesn't even, like, har- she hardly yeah, knows how to dress I'm herself. Joking, but I'm, like, not joking at all. That, With about the, what? She's just literally just that archetype of character. But she's the worst no, example know, no, of all like, time. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, she may like be that archetype, ridiculous. but we're not. We're saying that the archetype was done terribly. Mm-hmm. She has no concept of what's going on in the world around her. She only knows how to pull her blade out and stab someone only after everyone around her is dead, basically. Yeah. And she can't. She they can't react. All those characters. They and killed then Saga. Killed them. <laughs> yeah, all, they killed Saga. They if killed the guy who looked like. If Saga. you're looking for a continuation of Avatar out there. This is your first anime of choice because you get to watch Sokka die. You pee so. his pants and then Closure. die the next day. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. He's like, guys, look, she's so scary. No, I, I literally peed part. myself. <laughs> he's showing it off. Oh and he's showing God. it off like as it's some badge of honor. And the guy's like, dude, you smell like piss. Get out of here. And he's like, whoa, I do smell like piss. <laughs> it's like he didn't put two and two together. <laughs> that pee smells like piss. That pee smells like piss. <laughs> and I don't know, like the character, she's so terrible. She. Hasn't done anything, and I don't know if they're just going to be like, oh, no, she's only silent and brooding because she's been through a whole bunch in her past that made her be this silent, non-caring character that just goes around being a wandering samurai, but it was terribly done. She came off more as completely (laughs) stupid and unaware of the world around her than, like, a cool, brooding, silent archetype of whatever whatever. you want to call it. Like I said... Also, for someone with an identifying tattoo or birthmark, whatever that was, butterfly was... She doesn't really hide it. I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Well, speaking of that, like, since everybody has said their favorites and least favorites, can we talk about just, like, random other shows? Uh, because I mean, yeah, because yeah, that yeah. reminded me that, that fucking out. the tattoo talk reminded me of the Kodaichi Shonen no Jikinbo R, which fucking, oh, oh my yeah. god. Like, I don't know if I love it or hate it. I think you need. We need the t- at least the next two episodes to really make a judgment. Yeah, because it, it's I, like case closed, but with yeah. like I, an adult main character. Should I pick it up because it's like season? It's like a season two of like a one hundred eight episode. Everything I've seen, like it's like picking up show. case closed wherever you want because you can. It was one hundred forty eight mm-hmm. episodes was last season, and it ended. It was like oh seven to uh something. No ninety seven. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, ninety seven to two thousand. It was like one hundred forty eight episodes. Mold, and in episode one, they just did a giant, like, recap of the current arc. Okay, so you can just kind of just ten yeah. seconds. I mean, we weren't okay. confused about anything. It was kind of easy to follow. It would make sense to adults, but not to kids, probably. Yeah. 
even though it is a kid's show. Not technically, but, but like, the, the reason the tattoo thing reminded me of is because, like, you know, um, the girl oh, had yeah, the tattoo. Yeah. And it's just so stupid. It's like, like David said when we were watching it, this girl who is a model has a giant fucking dragon on her ass. And be like, let's put her in a two-piece and then not airbrush it out before we put it in. Like, maybe maybe the theme of that magazine was, like, tramp stamps or something. <laughs> no, that's the I don't only know. explanation. Like, yeah, like, because especially in Japan, that wouldn't make any sense. Especially for the time period that the show is supposed to be in, it doesn't make no, sense. Hong Kong. It's like, Japan, but they go to China? No, no she, she's a Jap- She's. I thought it was she's the model no, was Hong like Kong, Kong, but she, she's Taiwanese. No, but I, she was in Japan for modeling. Weren't the characters in Japan and then they went to China for the photo shoot? And then the, That's no, because they went there was a Japanese and she... um, like um, they made clothes, the uh, fashion designers, and they were having a show that she was supposed to be yes. in in Taiwan. Like the name of the fashion designers was like There's Tokyo whole, Pretty like, Girl made or something up like plot that. Plot shits to get them there. Yeah, it's just plot devices to get them there. Yeah, I don't know. And that. Um, the the detective guy's best friend in high school looks just like the model who went missing or whatever, but then they find the model who's missing in the park. They didn't look. They didn't. Where they think the cell phone was hard, apparently. Yeah. Like, Jesus. God. No, they even Kendaichi even said it. Why are you sitting here? Aren't you supposed to be like missing? <laughs> and she's just like, oh shit, I kind of forgot that I was supposed <laughs> to be hiding from people. Like no, like uh, I hate shows like that where it's like. It's not just once or twice, but it's, like, every five seconds something happens that, like, doesn't make any sense at all for why it happens, and the only reason it happens is because they can't think of a better way to move the plot forwards. Like, it's like you're, you're, you're relating, you're just, like, relying on happenstance that would not happen, you know? I don't think it's too bad a thing for a mystery show. I guess. As long as it doesn't get they in the way of the act, once the actual mystery I starts, God, you know? Mm-hmm. what I think it's gonna be, I'm just gonna be mad. I really have nothing else to really say about this show. Yeah. Kinda... Yeah, once again, we have to wait for at least this first mystery. Which will be exactly. three episodes, yeah. because episode one, introduce murder. Episode two, go over might... everything. It's like 26 episodes episode long, three, which is by the, three. Whatever, I don't know. Solve the whatever. That's, that's that makes usually sense. how it makes more sense, actually, then. Unless he just solves it in the <laughs> second one, I don't know. No, never. Mm-hmm. Have you? No. <laughs> now, one thing I have to say. Never. So in the I first episode is the only arc that's one episode long. Closed. There will be a four arc one. But I mean, case closed. So, don't they solve it three. all in one goddamn episode? Well, I didn't want to pick a sequel. I can't remember. I watched like a shit ton of it, and now I can't remember. Yeah. Oh wait, no, they mm-hmm. just split it. In I'm kind of surprised no one here. Exactly. I'm kind of surprised no one here picked JoJo as no, their favorite. No, I didn't want to like pick JoJo because I just feel like no matter what, like. Everyone's gonna watch it. It's JoJo. Yeah, and I didn't want to pick Mushishi because I mean it's Mushishi. Yeah. Come on, same same thing, same thing. I like I I'd, I'd say Mushishi because Mushishi was amazing. Mm-hmm. It, it it hasn't lost any of the charm that the original season had. It felt like the original season had never ended. I felt like I was immediately back. It was just another episode. I didn't feel like almost any time had passed because it was immediately just t- like throwing me back into the tale of like Ginkgo and his journeys and honestly that opening is still just as like peaceful and relaxing like I felt I always feel calm mm-hmm. just like calm and relaxed when I'm watching that show and the opening the for the second season was just amazing it was just it's this it's the same level of how I felt when like sore feet would play during season one and I was like oh mm-hmm. man yeah. I could just chill I only had one complaint, like, while I was watching that, and that was that I was upset. I was like, I thought it was going to be another banquet episode, like the first episode of season one. But then it turned out to be a totally different banquet, and I was really right. happy. I thought it was going to be like... Wait, is that the, a complaint or a, a compliment? It was a fear that got resolved <laughs> while I was watching it. Okay. And it, yes, it is a compliment. Like, in episode one, where it was the yeah. the grandma had been at that banquet, when yeah. that guy with the sake saw the light above, I thought it was another banquet. Mm. But then it turned out to be the Mushi Masters. That's, 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 I, I like that comparison there, actually. That's really fun. So, I didn't, I didn't even think of that. So, segues are hard. Um, 
<laughs> JoJo. Yeah, I mean, they're made of metal. That's what. So. Wow, that was awful. <laughs> that was, I just want to quit right now. That was so Continue bad. Anyway, question, dude. was anyone like disappointed? There was no ED or opening to JoJo. No, no. I was sad. I was like, I want, I want to feel. I want to. That's feel normal. Things. That happened in both the previous arcs, so I don't know what you were expecting. I'm. St- does it doesn't change the fact that I'm still sad. I just. I just well, want the song even to be though there's amazing. no opening or ending. It's not going to be roundabout. No, so... I don't care. I just I want it to be something just as good. And I'm just like, oh, you gotta make me wait a whole another week. I mean, I don't I don't mind that week wait because I felt like they had a lot to cover in episode one, and so they're like, we're gonna use all of our time to give you the story and, and basically get you to where you need to be for episode two to have an opening and an ending, or even just mm-hmm. one of them, like. I was on the edge of, I was not on the edge of my seat, but like I was highly engaged the entire episode, so I didn't mind that there was no opening or ED. That's normal for a lot of shows. I mean, hell, how long does it take for Sinar? Did it take for like Sinar Zetsubo Sensei to get like an opening? I mean, that's that's <laughs> Shaft, but I'm just saying like I'm so just I'm lazy. very fine. I'm perfectly fine with waiting for the opening and ending for a while. Yeah. Nah. And what what was that one show? It was like a couple, either like last season or a couple seasons ago, where the opening was oh, or even like Space Dandy, for example. We had a completely different opening for like a couple weeks. Oh yeah. What America or Japan America? Too? Yeah, America. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Time slots. Advertisements. So while a lot of stuff came out this weekend, there's still a few more things coming out this week that we're kind of excited for. Oh yeah, do we want to say like, like what we're excited for? Uh, I didn't look. I mean, can just do a quick drop, like name drop. Mm-hmm. Mikaku City Actors. Oh yeah. It's based on that, music. All that what, is that what, is, <laughs> what is that show? Yeah. Well, yeah. Me too. Mhm. Oh yeah. That's hopeful. So Good hopefully news. he'll be like happy with it. And that airs like I hate this the Saturday. Well, there's also like novels. I'm excited for ping pong. But I'm the guy who wrote that, the script um, for the story is really strong, and the animation isn't so <laughs> off-putting for some people. I want. I hope like everyone so enjoys it. Mm-hmm. And I hope it gets picked up by some people, maybe Crunchyroll. I don't think it'll get picked up. I don't think ping pong is gonna get picked up. Come on, you gotta have faith. I think Funimation might get it, but recent, like, because at some point in the past, Funimation that they got to roll had Samurai Flamenco and Silver Spoon, and Funimation didn't have either of the Noah Tamano shows, which were Samurai and Silver Spoon. <laughs> Yeah. This is nearly like a whole nother conversation <laughs> about the failure of Funimation. As <laughs> but as far as me, I am excited for what is the order a rabbit? Apparently is the English translation, which Gochuma. Gochuma. Oh yeah. The... Because it's got moe girls and bunnies. And it looks adorable. Which and um Gochumon. Yes, the one about the rabbit cafe, where they don't serve rabbits. It's like a cat cafe. Is it? Is it short? No. No, it's it, a, it's it a, it's just a hasn't aired show. yet. It, ju- it just hasn't aired yet. It airs on no, the. Tops. I'm like looking for it and I just don't see it. It's on the right on any oh. chart. It's on the right side. No, there. But, no, it's on the left side for me. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, whatever. So. <laughs> does that matter? <laughs> Go but, to any chart, But like. When I'm thinking about it now, a rabbit cafe God sounds man. like a really bad idea because rabbits just part poop of the appeal. constantly. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be handled. I, don't I think mean, be handled no, in the because show. just I mean, but it's just like it's just like an integral part of like being a rabbit is that you just shit all the time. And so like, if I you're, love this cafe and the girls are great, but they just shit. There's everywhere. just little tiny chocolates everywhere and they taste like crap. I want like, my Oma rice and they just take a deuce right there on the table. <laughs> it's just feeling like seasoning. Maybe they'll spell out your name. In rabbit poop. <laughs> Just spell uh, love with a heart in rabbit poop on your omelet rice. These rabbits won't stop fucking and multiplying in the cafe. 
service you can trust. You made this like really kawaii, like show into like just something dark and terrible about poop. Yeah, just shit. Uh, uh, poop and fucking. Yeah. David, is there anything you want to see that hasn't come out yet? I don't want to see anything. I want anime to stop coming well, out so I can stop watching. We're, we're the but... best at this. He doesn't want to see everything, but he will. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Oh, Ash- David Ashen would Loki. be like super hot with like a six pack and like okay, you, fifty girls on his arms. If anime but until didn't then, it actually has aired. I just haven't gotten around to it because it came out today, and none of the rest of these people could talk about because they haven't seen the first season, which is truly unfortunate. Dear but anime, please I am stop incredibly and hyped to watch Love Live season two after fan. this podcast is over. Oh my goodness! I loved the first season of Love Live so much. It blew away all my expectations. The dancing was great. The music was great. All the characters were charismatic and cute. It was the best thing ever. That it's oh my goodness! Better? Are you saying that it's better than Idol Master? It um <laughs> is on the same level as Idol Master. I think the character because Idol Master is, is, has this, it cheats because it's based on a video game. With it has a bunch of fan art already. You already know all the characters before you go into it. Love Live was entirely um. original, so. Because I am excited, because I love Love Live. I w- this is something I've discovered about myself recently. I want more mm-hmm. idol crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help laughing. You just got, like, so excited. <laughs> oh, my hey, wake goodness. up, girls. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Girls, David, little known fact, David really likes idol anime. <laughs> I think not have been able to get him to watch any, any yeah. of it. So you want more you idol so hype right, about Wake Up Girls? Wake Up Girls was like David's anime of the. It was good. I I was so surprised that Wake Up Girls was actually good by the end. I thought you were like pulling my chain when I when you first had me start watching it. But no, watch Love Life. Watch the first season. It's on Crunchyroll. It's only twelve episodes. Do just do it. Another one that I'm not really excited about, but I, I still want to see like how it's how bad it's going to be, is the flag. Kanojugawa. Oh, that actually just, world. it literally just aired. Really? Yeah, so you'll have it probably by later tonight, actually. Okay, well, then I'll, I might watch that, because, I don't know, I, I felt really fucking stupid. Oh, it's about this guy who can see flags. Oh, that's weird. Does, are they just, like, floating everywhere? Like, you know, just waving them out? <laughs> are they flags that people can't see? Like, what do they have on them? And I thought you were talking about, like, actual flags, like, waving banners. And I and I was really like I felt stupid. She made she even made a joke. She's like, "Huh, like flags and video games, like death flags." And and we're just like, "That is actually what the show. That's how it got the name." Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> "I hope, I hope that they're actually visualized as like banners. You know, they're just like sticking out of people or something." I I assume that's probably what they'll do. I mean, if it's Most in likely. the title. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Where is that one show? Where is that one show? Esha and Logi. I'm excited to see what that show will look like. Because the promo picture is does not drawings. have me... <laughs> what? It's just drawings. Well, no, that I mean, like that's like all the PVs that have been out is just drawings. But, like, the main picture they have, like, on my anime list and everywhere is, like, there's this picture of all these girls, but, like, the, the PV actually looks mm-hmm. like it's this really big expansive world and I'd like to see what they do Oh with man, it. actually there is a PV out that's not just art. Really? Wow, I will have to Holy watch that crap. after it. I I mean, I'm excited for it all the oh, same. Oh, never like, mind. This is a what? This is stupid. Never mind. Ignore my things cuz this is like the the fucking the preview for the game has more actual animation in it than the preview for the anime. Is that sad? <laughs> Good. Then I'll still be surprised by the anime. And the <laughs> anime airs in like we still got three more days, so I've got some time to wait yeah. for it. But I mean, yeah. I'm excited. It, it looks like it, I would like to see the show be about two people kind of go and do like showing how different cultures are, like as they go from town to town, like helping with the economy and being like, oh man, like I guess I'm um, like, was it Maui? No, not Maui. What was the show uh, a little bit ago? Hero and. That was Maui. Oh, okay, so I had it right. Okay, yeah, Maui was great. Like, I enjoyed watching them be like, oh, yeah, no, you gotta plant these crops. You gotta do this. Here's I, how your culture can thrive. If that show goes in that direction, I'll be very surprised and happy, but I just don't feel like it is. So you're hoping this is 
Fractal plus Spicy Fractal Wolf. Fractal did none of that. Fractal, fractal promised well, it would, art, but it didn't. The art yeah, Fractal said fractal. that it would do all these things, and then instead we got um, <laughs> cameras and toilets. Mm-hmm. Kellen, I don't want to oh disappoint gosh. you, but I did find um, a preview that was posted on March 16th, actually, of the video game anime, fucking uh, Echa and Logi, and it looks really generic. Wait, I think I just realized what we were all talking about. Calvin, do you know what that's based on? A video game. It's a video game where you play as this Moe girl and you like make potions and shit. Yeah, no, I I know that I know that I know that part, but I'm saying I'm hoping that she has a tail or something. I'm 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 hoping that they use that to kind of like spread potions around the like the city and stuff like be like, oh yeah, did you know you can do this? No. I'm going to tell you what that show is going to be like right now. Ben, do you yeah. remember that show with the bread? Oh, y- um, this. yeah. What was it called? Remember what it was called? But it was a it show was... where the main character makes bread and, and something. All... There's like <laughs> it's 74 episodes long. I remember. No, that's that. not what I'm talking about. Never mind. Remember the Wait, show with the bread talking... and the girls? No, the bread. I thought you were talking about the the, the other bread. making bread. Exactly. That's that's exactly. <laughs> Maybe what I was it was. Of. I, 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 I can't remember anymore. I was sure it was. Bad. What other bread based? Anyway, anime are I, there? I think it was. And Calvin. nothing happens. I thought Calvin watched that with you. Yes. Yeah. yeah no, nothing happened to that show either. I did Looking not up watch anime that. bread girls does not help me at all. <laughs> I, that was not me yeah. that we that watched it. So. Maybe it was a ghost. Maybe it was a ghost. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe it was a I'm... dream. I know what show you're talking about. There's bread and clanad. But the bread didn't taste good. It it looked good though. <laughs> Looks aren't everything. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Calvin. <laughs> God, how do they even have brains with all that eye space? Oh, we're, eyes are pretty complicated. We're things, so that is he's just he's done. He dropped. <laughs> no, but um, uh, one I haven't watched yet, Akuma no Riddle. It's been out all week. I just haven't gotten around to I it. I watched it right before this. How was it, David? So far, it was like. Exactly, Dong and Rampa, but there's girls instead. Wait, who's oh, um, who's the black and who's They're the all bear? Lesbians. Who's, the, who's who's the murderer? The bear is this white-haired guy that's voiced by uh, Joseph from JoJo. Oh. Wait, is there an actual yeah. Yeah, bear? JoJo. In Dong and Rampa, there yeah. is. No, it's Someone not a bear. Dong it's a white-haired Rampa. guy. Oh. I thought there was a bear. Basically, there's these twelve girls, and one of them is super nice, and the rest of them are all trained assassins. <laughs> and they have to kill the nice girl. What? Yeah. But they all fall in love with her. No, the main Aww. character falls in love with her. And <laughs> now the rest of the show is going to be out her protecting the pink haired girl. Uh, Alright. Sounds, sounds Wait, great. So it is lesbians, the anime. <laughs> yeah, that, yes. No, yes. When people were saying it was lesbians, they weren't like joking. It was literally lesbians. Uh. What, what is it with just like a lesbian kick lately in Japan? <laughs> no, I is don't it becoming like a doing. fashion trend? Lately. Or something? Yeah, it's, we get at least, yeah, at least one lesbian show a season. And there's mangas everywhere. You act like this is a new yeah, trend. I don't know. I, it for it is not a new trend. I don't know. I just feel like I've been like just recently exposed to it. Seeing more. it, yeah. I well, I, I know obviously like fucking lesbians are a thing in Japan, duh. But like, I don't know. It's it's like the more like the, we're not gonna play up the lesbian part of this or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking anyway, about. Anyway. Well, okay, so about. there's another show mm-hmm. um, called okay. Seikoku no Dragonar. I, I want to that too. hear your opinion on it because I thought you were talking some weird stuff like comparing it to other shows. What What were you saying? It's I, I really liked the first episode. All right, the show's terrible. I'm going to point that out. Like, don't go to the show thinking, oh, this is going to be a great show. <laughs> bad. But I loved it a lot. Because the first episode covers the material that any other rom-com fantasy show would wow. take three episodes to cover. Like, they introduce the concept of the school. And then they introduce his special power. And then there's this, like, cool Diddy Kong <laughs> racing race where they race on dragons. And then That's they introduce fuck. the villain. And then his dragon <laughs> appears. Like, so much the shit the happened in the first episode. Uh, yeah, this is the one where the dragon is not a dragon. Right? Okay. 
Yes, it's where the one where he everyone else has dragons, but his dragons. Because are the first how does he ride reason. her Plot. in the Diddy Kong racing race? You don't even want to. No. <laughs> he, no, he he borrowed his friend's dragon. His also, friend's his dragon. his special power is that no one else can use each other's dragons, but for some reason he can. He's like this whore. That's handy since dragon. his dragon is a little dragon girl. whore. Yes, since his dragon is not a dragon. Oh, but she does have like baby uh, dragons. Course. Yeah. Of course. I hope she eventually turns into like a really ugly dragon. He's just like, well, shit. You mean grow up? Oh, but yeah, the, yeah that's the main complaint I have with the show, actually. The dragons Yeah, are no, they look shit. like fucking rocks. <laughs> horses. They're like horses. Huge wow. dragon horses. These are great descriptions. And also, only a few of them have wings. Like, only the most Isn't powerful that like wings. the point of a dragon or something? I thought if, if it's not, if it doesn't have wings, it's like something else. Yeah, that. <laughs> like a, a dinosaur. A very large lizard, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like they were having they were fighting at one point and I was like, this is just a bunch of dinosaurs <laughs> running into each other. One other thing on Crunchyroll about like uh, I think yesterday, uh, like three uh shonen shows came out. I haven't watched them, but I haven't watched any of them either, but they're all shills for yeah, like I, games and toys. Since yeah, you watch or, every, or no, no game. Since you no, watch no, everything, no David, right. I wanted yeah. to know how you felt about all the no, shows. I haven't watched any of them yet, so. Okay. So speaking of like shows on uh, that are like being simulcast and everything, Mahoka and Meikaku have so many people like simulcasting them. That's because they're both Aniplex like, shows. Yeah. And th- that's like getting blown yeah. up, man. Like it's going to be, they're going to be streaming on four different sites. They're going to be on Hulu, Aniplex's channel, Crunchyroll, and Daisuke. Aniplex doesn't hold back when it comes to streaming rights. They'll let pretty much anyone have them. Because they want you to watch the show. They want to build a fan base. I honestly think Aniplex has a better plan than any other like publisher in America right now. Their 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 goal is basically to get as many people as watching their shows as physically possible. I mean, it, and it's working. Mahoka is like, did gangbusters. Yeah. Like, it's, it's already getting a lot of people. And I don't know how many people have watched the shorts. For anyone out here who's listening, watch the shorts that came out from Ahoka first. Honestly, they're like two minutes each. There's like a few, only a few episodes. There's like three right now. But they give you a good uh, explanation of the world that Mahoka is trying to like explain to you. And it does a, a really good explanation of how the magic works and what's going on in their world and sort of the history of their Earth. And then why it's all important to the main plot. So once that stuff happens in the show, they can just kind of talk about it and not force you as a viewer to have to like be bombarded with information in the actual show. I like having it's like the Hun Cyclopedia in Hunter Hunter where they give you information outside of the show so when you watch the when you're actually watching the show, you don't have to feel like they're taking too much time to explain everything to you. That sounds good. So, Mahoka I felt kind yeah, of neutral about doing a lot that episode, but stuff, maybe so if I watch those are shorts, be watching it. I'll like the show. Yeah, my same here. Maybe. The show obviously has a budget, and it's going to be getting crazy. Like, a lot of people are going to be watching. It's already got a lot of people that are currently watching it, so. And it's, didn't have, it have, like, a manga or something? novels that are all translated. The light novels, city. there we go. Yeah. And people thoroughly enjoy the light novels, so I can only assume that the anime is going to do pretty well. And, I mean, Meikaku's already got all the people like, oh, man, music. What's mm. it about? I don't know. Let's watch it. I'm fine with that. I cannot wait it's for the rest of this week to air, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Go I think anime. it's a, it's pretty you know cool that even though a lot of the stuff hasn't aired yet, I mean, the things that have aired are we had a lot to talk about. Yeah, and I mean, there's only a few more shows like coming up that basically we and like if anything we'll we'll mention them next week and talk about the few other shows, but oh yeah. Definitely. Oh, um, Jen, you had a plan that you actually wanted to talk about where we each kind of gave each other a show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, um, so next week, since most, I guess everything will have aired by then, uh, each of us is going to pick a show that is going to be ours. And then so we each have to at least watch everybody's pick. Um, and the pick is going to stay the same for the rest of the season. And so that way that we can give, you know, kind of educated views of things and not be like well I didn't watch that or I didn't watch that and uh, so then for the rest of the season we're mostly going to be sticking to those I guess five shows um, but then if we have time we are going to talk about you know any other things that we think need to be 
said or need to be like touched on or, or really excited about or really hated or whatever. But um, that way we'll just have like a set, you know, list of, of anime every week to talk about. And you guys can follow our opinions, you know, episode for episode. And we'll so. obviously have more to say on the Tumblr once actually things start once things start airing and we have a bit more to say. Um, we'll probably be posting our opinions on shows on our Tumblr at doshiocast.tumblr.com. And we'll, mm-hmm. I'm sure we have a, do we have anything else? I'm not sure if we do. We'll, we'll figure that out. But we've got a Tumblr. Feel free to ask <laughs> us questions if you want. And we will be updating there soon. We've only got this, these three episodes, so we haven't really put anything up there. That's largely my fault, but we'll be getting stuff up on that site soon. And you guys can ask us questions there. Kind of follow us because we'll be talking about anime of the season that we might not be covering in the podcast. And just... Yep. It'll all be fun. Yep. All right. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Definitely. Oh shit, I haven't paused my audacity.